on by a political polls. Something in me feels wrong for not for not contributing to them. But part of me feels that if the person really cared, they would call me themselves and just straight up ask me what I thought instead of doing some uh, artificial response. dealing with computers. I, I would have never got in into computers. I would never like a computer. If, uh, if I didn't know there wasn't a human on the other end, it, it would be as fun to me as playing with a model train or uh, No, I guess I could see it if I had like a an encyclopedia on here and somebody had put it on here. But social networking is really one of the things that makes computers attractive when you know that there's a human being somewhere out there. Even if you can't directly even if you're not directly leaving a message. <coughs> Just putting these videos out. Putting a response on Facebook or MySpace or on a web page. If I didn't think that at some point in the future someone was going to see it, I would be a lot less likely to do it. Because I never... I never really enjoyed writing. Um, I do and I don't. I mean, it depends, you know, how I see it. <sighs> too many, too many rules. Hmm. I don't, know. I don't know if you want something like this. I don't know if this is subjective. something like me out there on the surface of this ball. Or just, just something here would be nice. I, I kind of, I see things that I don't like. I see uh, aspects of viewing or being viewed. Um, you know, parents, I guess. Is that, is that where it comes from? I mean, if you want kind of stress this, if, if you want consciousness, if you want first person, um, tell, tell us, uh, tell us when you had your first, first person experience that you can remember. Um, I mean, I, I'm not sure I can remember my first one. I'll go back as far as I can. And again, the whole first person thing. Um, when
when does that start? Um, and what about maybe there are other things that happen and uh, when I say like evolutionary biology is I'm not in, in reactions and chemicals I know I'm not being specific because I you know, I don't have the vocabulary probably or I do I can I can read a lot you know I understand a lot I like to keep things simple so that everyone can understand. Because I have a... It's just, it makes it easier for me to... When I say simple, I mean, uh, you know... Popular. Um, not too many big words or new words or... You know, I try to keep it simple. As simple as possible. sharing things with people. The simpler things are, the more sense they make. But there, there of course does come a time when you're talking with people who are very familiar with the same subjects that you are. And you can share <coughs> information with them. And uh, it'll be more and more specific. Which I feel I'm still not Still not there what you want, but I think I know you. And I don't know if you're looking in the right place. You know, like I said, you want to see where this where this comes from. When I say this, I always want to think of just this body. Not just this there's no is it located somewhere? Is the conscious located somewhere? If I could, you know, I would say it's the the brain stem you know, in the brain stem. Probably not, it's probably slightly distributed, like the, you know, the trunk of a tree. And the tree branches up into the brain, but it's, it, you cut the trunk, and, and how much longer do you have a tree? I mean, is it still really a tree? to look back and, uh, and imagine when when does consciousness first arise when, when do we first notice it how far back can we remember it and is it something that we tend to remember this is something that we re we value <coughs> enough to keep it children think of at what point in our development somewhere in there is probably what you're looking for I mean in its most advanced form I suppose if you want to really isolate it find where it's concentrated <coughs> you know 
it exists in us now, but how did it get there? And some people definitely have it more than others. Some people care more about themselves. I do I think it's 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 selfish. It really is. I don't like it. I don't like thinking about it so much. I don't want to focus on it. For some reason, when I think about a subject, I like to think that the whole world is thinking about it. That everyone thinks about the same thing, cares about the same thing. And, uh, I know that's really not the case. Back when I was studying relativity. I am trying to share that with people. I realized that wasn't the case. Um, when I was in when I was in preschool and I wanted to eat graham crackers wasn't it wasn't snack time I'm trying to think of when when was the first time I noticed that I was different. that uh, <sighs> I notice that uh, my experiences were not shared by everyone. I mean, I can I remember that now? Babies have consciousness to a degree, but do they have narratives? Do they, uh, <coughs> <coughs> desires in order to, to convey our desires, to communicate our desires? the difference between wants and needs. Need, uh, you know, that's, that's innate, that's the right word, um, that's natural. Um, we know we need food, and we know we want food, so you can want a need. But if something is not needed but wanted, um, the, the only way to have a want, imagine, is to have experienced it or imagined it and wanted it again. So, so we want to get things. We want to experience things. We want to live in things and around things. You know, we want to be in the environment. Um, just, there's so many things to it. You can't or won't be able to simply put um, I don't know a lot about algorithms, but I know the general idea, and you, you know, it's not, it's not one thing. I don't know, we've 
Seems like we've been arguing this for a week. But I'd rather not, I'd rather not argue. I'd rather just try to understand. Um, and I do really apologize for not. As you made them, as you were watching the video, it, you know, I assume that you watched the video and then you, you type a comment as I make a statement, you know, immediately afterwards. It, it's kind of dawned on me, I've done it a few times before, um, I don't often comment during videos, I like to go into like TV mode, you know, and just think laugh um, I watch a lot of uh, you know like Christopher Hitchens and <coughs> <coughs> Sam Harris <coughs> and uh, even a lot of YouTube um, atheists humans uh, secular humans something there's something in them in people I don't like I don't like um religion and just faith and uh, I can't really isolate it see it in people um, when I'm having conversations with them and talking about things and they just kind of uh, turn off and wait until I shut up so that they can come in. and uh, they don't it's not just listening thinking, following, you know, staying with the person, being in the mind's eye, kind of um, sharing, sharing the narrative, sharing the first person. strengthen the uh, my apprehension to contribute to artificial intelligence. I know you said it'd be cool and interesting, and there was a time when I really wanted that. I really did. Really did. Um, I created, you know, I had an electronics class in high school, and uh, for our final projects, um, there was a catalog where we could order um, just, just little gadgets and robots if we wanted to build robots. Um, just everything, everything apart. You had to put it all together and uh, all in the right order. And I, I wanted the most expensive robot. And I think it was about fifty dollars, and and I um, you know, I had a couple paper routes at the time, so I, I love that. Whenever I wanted money, I would just go out in the neighborhood and get it from people, like the, the tax man. You know, time to pay up. You know, catch them at the right time. I got really good at tracking people's activity, you know, a few customers just didn't want to, uh, didn't want to answer the door, and so, you know, I would, I would just 
hang out in the neighborhood and uh, keep an eye on them. See when they came out of their house, and I just had to make, you know, they have to see you and they, when they know that there's nowhere to hide. Um, and I know some of us do have that where we hide and hide and hide and hide. Um, I think, you know, just, just, just leave me alone. You know, I know you don't like me, and it's a lot of, like, a lot of overweight, ugly, uh, stupid, whatever, you know, whatever it is that they think about themselves that the world doesn't want from them, it doesn't want to see them, it doesn't want to deal with them, um, you know, and it's a shame that they're intelligent hermits as well. I don't know if it's really a shame so much as a, you know, they should be the center. Or should they? I would think so. You know, I don't like the, I don't like fame so much. I don't like, uh, like intelligent people getting treated like like they're necessary individuals are not they're not really necessary um, you know sir where would we be without without Einstein um, you know where would we be without during uh, Dirac, Feynman, Feynman, um, where would we be, you know, without them? But there's so many other people, you know, um, And, and you complained about about sitting back and waiting for scientists to just do their thing and uh, forget the uh, there's an awful bit say it. I don't want to spoil it until I find it. Because I did I did find your video amusing. I enjoyed it. Maybe because I felt like you were talking to me, but you weren't. Kind of you didn't you didn't say much. You used words. Um, the word bit. Which makes me feel like that's what Maybe you're talking to me, or maybe you're talking to others, you're still talking to everyone, in general, people in the future. Alright, let's think of this like time. There it is. Yeah, if you want to ruin your career, you ask those lolly lying lily lolly questions and in fact that has happened you know hard science is basically one of the things they hardened against is any questions that have to go through this individual emotive choice that we deal with as our daily selves they hardened. Okay. This is this is fleshy. This is weak. This is gonna die. I don't want organic facts that 
decay over time. What I want are, are uh, organic facts that grow over time, that, that uh, you know, they get stronger and stronger. You don't want, you don't want science, soft science. Is there such a thing? You know, uh, it, it, it sounds sad. It, it does, it sounds, um, it sounds weak. And I, I wouldn't want soft science. Um, you know, I don't even like saying it. Because I don't know what it is and I don't want to, you know, from now on soft science will be a bad thing. You know, you, you could be like, soft science could be the kind of science that you teach to a child. Um, it could be a good thing. And I'm sure there's already people out there using soft science. <laughs> Maybe the biological sciences are soft sciences. You know, physics and chemistry. Because I don't know, I don't know what you mean when you say hard science. But I can imagine. Um, just, just math and logic and, uh, I don't know, hard as in difficult, or hard as in solid. Both, you know, or hard as in the constants, universal constants. That's something that I looked at a little bit last night. I don't know if I wanted to respond to you or someone else on using it, but there are. <coughs> I don't know if you if you're familiar with who Elon Musk is. But he, uh, I saw a video, I should see him probably well, 30 hours of videos of him and, and read about him for 40, 50 hours. Uh, but one of the things that he looks for when he interviews people for jobs is... That they that they understand uh, what do you call it? Prime movers, not prime movers, but uh, I forget the term that he used. First, first, first cause, first principles. Um, what essential universal constants? Um, right now I'm looking at a, a you know, this, uh, this table, and, uh, you know, magnetic constants, I, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with the majority of these, uh, but we, I was kind of looking into this, you know, when I wanted to respond to your, your, um, your comment on one of my videos about about not looking for a single thing and you've talked about dark energy and you've talked about you know dark energy that's the uh, expansion constant Einstein was trying to avoid cropped up, just popped up in uh, in relativity. <laughs> just try to zero it out. Get get rid of it. Don't you know? Get that factor out of my equation. Where did you show up from? You're not good. What are you? almost scary at this point. Um, just because I, I want to 
to say I waste my time in popular things, but, you know, there's a lot of uh, pop culture kind of things. Just uh, levels of science, you know, the most fundamental being the least uh, emotive, but the most emotive, they are the biggest wastes of time, honestly. Because everybody can emote, you know, from the outside, from the inside out. Look at drama, social engineering, and uh, neurolinguistic programming. So, still want to know what you're looking for. You, you've agreed an organization, a structure, framework. Um, so, when does that happen? Oh, in DNA, you said DNA was, you know... <laughs> I imagine you you going like, what the fuck? DNA not the most complicated thing. DNA not complex. How how could DNA not be complex? Um, it's, it's simple, I guess. You know, maybe just the more you you learn about things, the more it just makes sense. And there's nothing about DNA that doesn't make sense. You you you're looking in the wrong place for consciousness. If, if that's what you're really looking for, it's it's too it's macro scale. Don't don't fucking waste your time with that quantum bullshit. Okay, quantum is just the way small scale things work. I mean, you know, maybe you want to tie it all together with a, a theory, string theory, or universal theory. It's it's not gonna going to happen. Okay, it's, it's on this scale, duh, um, but you, but you said you want to find the smallest thing that, uh, you could make, that you could make conscious, and how, yeah, how can you narrow it down, and, uh, That's it, man. No. Focus on that. Focus on the brainstem. Focus on that area. The base. You know. The reptilian part of the mammalian brain. human brain. If people want to think that we're somehow look at an extra layer. More folds. Surface area, yeah. Hmm, that's good for storing information. Yeah. The brain I mean, really is it's simple. There's just so much. Just wasted. Definitely wasted. Um, but we're still getting good. We're still learning to educate. And that's the most important thing. You would, you would really fuck. You would really think that the most advanced 
educators in the world, the most effective educators, would be out there teaching everyone how to educate. 